If there's a wine that people know about my family, this wine is Mazaplana. And today, here we are in the house of Mazaplana. It's very uh, special to me because I was born in this house and I was raised here. And uh, all around this house is these beautiful vineyards of Cabernet Sauvignon planted in 1965 by my father. The first cuttings of Cabernet Sauvignon came actually from a friend of my father called Jean Leon, who actually stole these uh, cuttings from very prestigious estates in Bordeaux. The Cabernet Sauvignon did very well here. And uh, actually today, what I would like to do is to explain to you about the vineyards that we have here, how we manage them and why they are so special and they make one of our best wines in the family, Massa Plana. To me, when I'm in Massa Plana, I really think about how important it is to keep uh, the balance of the vineyard. It come to my mind some words of my grandfather that he used to say, the more we care for the earth, the better are our wines. Uh, he already, back many years ago, decided not to use any pesticide or any herbicide in the vineyard. And through the years, actually, we have decided to, uh, to turn this vineyard into organic viticulture. Uh, what we have learned is that um, if you take care of nature, if you increase biodiversity, you get this balance uh, on the wines, you get this finesse that comes naturally from nature. Mazda Plana is a vineyard that is located between two rivers, the Rio Foch and the Riera del Litra. And during the past years, we have been actively promoting uh, these biological corridors that allow animals to connect between these two rivers. Here, um, there are animals like wild boars, like foxes, like badgers, like snakes, that really are very important for the upper stages of the pyramid of the ecosystem of Mazda Plana. Here at Mazaplana, we promote the population of bees. Uh, bees are very important for the pollinization during the flowering time, but also bees are very sensitive to any kind of pollution. So they are a great indicator of the health of this ecosystem. We are here with Albert Escofet, who is the viticultural responsible for the vineyard of Mazaplana, and in order to ask him some uh, questions and to talk a bit about the cover crop. Què en penses de l'evolució que hem anat fent amb les cobertes vegetals aquí a Massa Plana? Al llarg dels anys hem anat fent diferents proves amb, amb, cobertes, amb, amb cobertes sembrades, sobretot amb lleguminoses, i al cap dels anys hem, eh, hem pogut percebre que els resultats que aconsegueixes amb una coberta eh, sembrada eh, poden ser iguals o, o fins i tot millors amb una coberta espontània. Ens permet aconseguir eh, més objectius que més enllà de, de la qualitat del raïm i la, la preservació del sol. Ens aconseguim, eh, aconseguim que siguin hostatges de, de fauna beneficiosa, d'insectes beneficiosos. Un clar exemple n'és la, la crisopa i la marieta, que són depredadors de, del corc del raïm, uh -huh. que és una plaga important del, de la vinya i que gràcies a aquesta fauna beneficiosa aconseguim reduir la pressió fitosanitària, els tractaments fitosanitaris en la vinya. Fantàstic que al final aconseguim aquest equilibri d'una forma natural eh? ah, i deixant que la natura treballi, que al final eh, ella és la que ens sap més d'alguna forma. Here we are at the corral that we have at Massa Plana. Eh, we have uh, eight sheep and one little lamb that was born a couple of weeks ago. Uh, this sheep actually helped us a lot to control the level of vegetation of this uh, cover crop that we have in the vineyards and also they help us uh, to produce this, this special compost that we put in the areas where we need a bit more of nitrogen and a bit more of fertility. Here we are at one of the corners of one of the insectories that we have in Mazda Plana, where we plant uh, aromatic plants, but also calendula, herba de Sant Jordi, all kind of plants that they are going to flower in different moments of the year so that the insects uh, can live here and they can establish themselves for the whole year. This is the water lagoon of Massa Plana, and here we accumulate the water from the rain that uh, comes from the roofs of the winery and also from different canals that we can find in the vineyards. Uh, this with time has become a reservoir for amphibians, but mainly for birds. We can find a lot of autochthonous species of birds here, but also uh, birds that emigrate. So in the winter time, they are going more to Africa, and in the summer time, they are going more to the north. I spend a lot of hours here with my kids, especially in the afternoons, because we love uh, bird watching and it's a very cool place to be and to spot uh, very different birds. 
Every time I taste Masa Plana, I feel myself kind of transported to this place. Um, these uh, beautiful vineyards, these uh, hills with these special soils and this character that I can feel when I smell and when I taste this wine. Uh, to me it has uh, these uh, hints of these Mediterranean notes, these balsamic notes, uh, these licorice, that it feels very much like being in this vineyard in this particular moment. Hmm. The balance of this wine and the softness is really great. And most important, I feel that it's a very uh, alive wine. Just uh, like when I walk around these vineyards, I see the life around here. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this uh, small visit to understand better the biodiversity of Massa Plana and that very soon you can come and uh, meet and know this small sanctuary in the Penedes, Massa Plana. Salute!